another straight from the soul episode here with my man the owner of GAA magazine give yourself a plug bro guys I'm Strato um, I'm the owner and director at GAA magazine so we we are a Perth based um, online blog which pretty much covers kicks and fashion whatnot pretty much all the things people love in life um, based in Perth but we got team all around Australia so uh, we're always covering cool content. So we're currently down in Melbourne for the Up There store, um, New Balance 99 X Museum. So checking out my boy's store. Question number one: What made you a sneaker head, sneaker freak? Well, my first pair of actual sneakers was probably um, New Balance 574s. To be honest, I. Uh, they were probably like 170 bucks, but I was just like, man, I had a job at the time and I thought, why not? And little did I know that was going to open me up into a bigger world. So um, I kind of fell in love with them and then I was like, man, what else can I buy? So I started going to sneaker stores more often and I was like, let's check out this store, see what they got. And slowly, slowly I started moving towards other brands. So it wasn't until like a year in until I got my first pair of Jordans and that was Jordan 1s. And from there, I just fell in love with um, basketball sneakers as well. I'm not too much of a um, runners fan, but it's definitely something I want to look into for sure. Is, yeah. there, is there a Jordan that you feel nostalgic to? Like this is the shoe that I love because of Jordan. Like as in like like for me, my favorite Jordan, as everyone knows, is the Jordan Eleven Breads. That that thing is like my nostalgic grade six playing basketball, freaking in primary school. And yeah. Alright, that that is the one shoot the one Jordan that I wanted to cop so bad. So I didn't have the um, normal elevens, but when they released the lows, I was just like, damn I've gotta get these. They were just fire. You could wear them um, dressed up, you can wear them just on court or with some shorts. So I was like, I've gotta cop these. So here's me, young teenager going into Foot Locker again, my raffle ticket, waiting at the raffle. First raffle I ever got called up, right? I've had bad luck my whole sneaker career, so that's why I haven't had much heat up till now. Um, <laughs> um, but I managed to get my ticket in, so I went up, got my size 13s, I went to pay with my card, and they're like, sorry man, your pin's wrong. I was like, nah, nah, no my pin, I'm, I'm putting it in right, like, stop arguing with me. And then they're like, well, it's coming up wrong. So I was like, alright, hold up, hold up, let me go get some cash out from the ATM outside. Turn my back, not even 10 seconds later, they sold it to the guy behind me for cash and he was probably like a size 9. And Ooh. that, I'm not going to lie, after that happened, I haven't been back to that same Foot Locker store since and I think it's been... So you're, you're currently running GAA Magazine, right? How did that come about towards, was it because of sneaker culture? Was it because of clothing culture? What was it that made you embrace in this journey of yours? I was probably like the normal sneakerhead, so I got into kicks first, obviously with the New Balances, and then from there I started building my collection. And pretty much what happened was, I was your normal sneakerhead, so I pretty much dressed like an idiot. My clothes were terrible, but as long as I had fiery kicks, I didn't care what anyone thought. Let's check out some clothes, see what I can do with this, see, what, see if I can spice it up and make these kicks look even fresher. So I started buying more clothes and getting more into fashion, but then I had a part-time job, so... I was just like, sure, let's splurge a little bit of money, you only live once, build my wardrobe up, it's an investment. And <laughs> pretty much just started getting talking, started talking to people and store owners and collectors and fashion enthusiasts. And I pretty much was just like, yo, this community in Perth was, it was just lit. Like, to be part of something like that just made you feel good. And I was like, how can I be a part of this? So. I was thinking and thinking and thinking. I was looking for a way to open myself up into that hole in the market. And I was like, what kind of local magazines do you know that are all about fashion, that bring you that content that you want to hear, 
but still have that local take on it. And I was just like, people will love this. Like, it's a killer idea, and let's do it. And me being a naive 15 year old when I started it, I was just like, this will be easy. So I pretty much just put all my time and effort into it. And we definitely went through struggles, but I kind of just kept being persistent. And you see a lot of people try and give up, but I just, being the little naive teenager I was, I just kept going. And it's built to what we are today with our huge and awesome team. Like, I, I couldn't be more grateful. And the friends and connections I've made, like, I'm like going around Australia to stores and events. It's like, sorry, it's gonna shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, it's getting me, it's getting me out there. And, I think I feel like GA for me isn't um, work or making me money or anything like that, but it's getting me more involved in the community and I think that makes me feel good because I'm able to connect with like-minded people who like the same things as me and I think that's always been one thing I've always been drawn to. So as soon as I got my foot in the door, I just kept pushing and pushing until I got there. Don't you feel that there are lacking people in the sneaker community at the moment that call it a community, but at the end of the day, they're just on there to get like cheap shoes, resell, make money off each other, and that's pretty much all it is. It, there's no more community about it. Like when I grew up and I was part of the camping crew, like we would go camp in the middle of the night for two days, we didn't give one shit, and we just talk crap all day, right? But now they, nowadays, you can just pay someone, or like my uncle's, auntie's, dog's, nephew's, aunt's cat is lining up for me. <laughs> See, like, there is no, like, as you said, there is no more community, like, you're trying to build a community, but do you feel like the community-based sneaker culture now isn't really there anymore? It's sort of just, like, all about the resale, it's all about trying to, like, eat off each other's heads, it's just not there anymore. Yeah, definitely, I think the sneaker culture, and I'm not too sure about other cities, obviously I don't go there too much, and I'm not there for the weekend raffles, but I can see in the Facebook groups, um, but more specifically in Perth. You see people going to Foot Locker and they're copying sizes out of three sizes too big and you see people selling on Gumtree and whatnot and it, you can see it's all about the money for them and the way I see it is pe people are pretty much wanting to buy those shoes like if that's like it could be the worst shoe ever it could be a general release ultra boost and a lot of people hate on them but people pay resale on them and people genuinely really really like them and we have people taking advantage of that and holding someone else back from copying maybe not necessarily the grail, some could call it a grail but copying the shoot that they want and I think that's just ruining the community I, when I copped Yeezys everyone was like oh man I'll give you this much from I'll give you this much and I was just like man straight on foot like I think within the first week of the great gum drop there was a very few photos in the sneaker groups of people actually wearing them and there was just heaps of photos of people selling them. And I was just like to everyone, I was just like, what's happening? Are people just going to keep selling them and selling them and selling them? So definitely, it's definitely ruined it for me. And I think the community isn't necessarily what it is, what it used to be. Um, so there are still those people that really care, like obviously yourself and people that are trying to work to promote others and help others. Um, but there's a lot of people who are in it for the wrong reasons. So it's, pre it's pretty disappointing, like I'm not going to lie, from the get-go when I started GA, I, we didn't really have much support from other brands and stuff, and um, like we were doing articles and promo on other brands, and in return they would do nothing, they'd stop talking to us, they wouldn't help us out, like, yo, share the link of the article we just wrote on you, and they wouldn't even share it, like, it's pretty disappointing, and I think there's a lot of people that do ruin the community, but then at the same time, you meet some amazing people along the way which, which, are, which are willing to help you out. So I know I've made so many friends who are just like, I'll hook you up with whatever you need. So it's kind of, it's a bit of give and take. Like with me, I've always just been that person. I'll offer something to someone first and try and help them out before asking for something because like, it's just rude to go to someone and say, yo, can you give me this like straight off the bat? Like you want to get in their good books and I think there's no sense of that anymore. People just want to take each other for what they've got and that's it, man. It's true. <laughs> I, I've actually got a game to play. I just thought about this in my head like one second while you were talking. All right, and it's going to be insane. All right, Whoa. so this is the game. He brought his brother along. As you guys can see in the background, I've got shoes 
for days. So this is Jay's all day. On the other side is just random shoes. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna tell him right now. I'm gonna wait for his brother to throw me any pair of shoes. Just grab anything, bro. And just throw it to me. Done. Throw it to me, bro. Bam. Oh shit. <laughs> that was fail. Alright. What do you reckon of this shoe? One word, one description, one word, that's it. Don't ever play yourself. 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 Congratulations. Oh. I like this shoe. I like this shoe. I actually like this shoe. What do you reckon of this shoe? First word that comes to mind, snowflakes. Next shoe. Oh, gotta pick it easy. These. Fox hunting. Oh. <laughs> I like that one. Alright, what do we got from the wall behind us? You can't even look. You just gotta, I gotta go like this, and you just gotta put the Let's see if we can catch this. Don't, don't wanna, hit me in the head. I know what you're gonna say for this one. Bam! Oh my god, space jams, but like. Space jams? Space, space, space jams? What? 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 Okay. No, no, it just reminds me of space jam. I know really? they're not. Yeah, like, whenever I see them, I just think of Bugs Bunny. Oh, Alright, right, fair enough. I didn't know I was fixing it. Next one. Oh, I'm shooting myself here. Bam! Oh! How do you feel about these these Jordans now are going no retro way. lows? Like the fives are going lows, these are going lows, everything's going low. The bread eleven look bread elevens, twelves go low, everything goes low now. I think you it makes it can make it or break it in this instance. I don't I don't really like it. I saw the infrareds and stuff and I didn't think it really made it, I think it lost in the integrity of the shoe. Like, come on man, like this is this isn't gonna get too hyped up. Like, I'm not gonna be like, yo, check out these new sixes. You ain't got a fat Joe lick this shit. Next shoot, bro. Oh, fuck, I've done that before. <laughs> well, then, lasers. Laser boards. Alright, what do you think of the pattern? And should they bring these laser patterns on other shoes besides the fours? Yeah, so I definitely um, like the pattern. Um, I, I was actually trying to cop these when they first came out, unsuccessful as always. Um, but I've been telling my brother that it'd be dope to get these in a ones, like exact same colors, exact same pattern, but in a one. And I was just like, man, someone should do a custom on that shit. And I think someone did in the bread. Just don't get anything too expensive because if you drop that shit, I ain't paying. <laughs> Bam, Sport Blue Threes. What do you think of this colorway? I think that's one of the most iconic Jordan shoes. Like. You look back at all the kids playing at races, playing basketball, eating their snack packs and shit. And that's what you picture, like you... You picture them wearing this. That's, that, that was goals when you were a kid, to wear those, and or not many four. people did. Threes or fours? Threes or fours, threes or fours. I think threes were kind of a bit more popular at times, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I just burped. <laughs> I'm never gonna look. I flinched hard. Oh. Man, what the fuck did you just call them? Aquas, man. You just called them oh, grapes. This bro, is why. Bro. Don't hate them, I'm not a big fan of eights. Alright, eight aquas. Thoughts? Cut that out, please. <laughs> um, I think they're a really clean shoe, and I think they're one of those ones which you can wear on the court and you can dress them up at the same time. Like these with some jeans would look killer. Yeah, say whatever you want, bro. This is your 15 seconds of plugging. Damn, I'm famous. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Strato. I've been networking myself um, into the community and to try and make new friends and stuff. And I've just grown and grown from there and I've met some awesome friends along the way. Normal people with the right, with that aren't crazy like us, look at us like, damn, what are, what are they doing spending that much money on shoes? But once you get into it and you make friends like this guy and you you travel and you meet new people and you get links. You start to appreciate what you're there for and it starts to mean so much more to you rather than just the kicks. So like, the kicks, it's just it's not just about the kicks, it's about the friendships you make along the way. Maybe it's like from camping or um, you meet someone at a raffle or you're just talking to someone, buying shoes off them, stuff like that. So, see that's true. When I was 15, all I was doing was cooking me a ring in my freaking kitchen, I wasn't thinking about making sneakers or making like some sort of society, community. All I cared about was food. I think I was back in, I was trying to cop some ice creams back in the days when I was 15 and some bait. That's all I cared about. Bait. Ice cream and bait. That's 
Seriously, when I was 15, I didn't care about anything else. Meat growing is good shit though. Don't, don't like underrate that. Like, if you ever have to buy kicks and live on the meat growing diet, we've all been there, we've all done that, it's worth it. Because after a week, you get to go back to normal food, and you got some fresh ass kicks. So don't forget guys, to check him out, plug check, in your website. Check us out, so www.guysapparelaustralia.com um, Our Instagram is uh, guys, GA Magazine. Um, our Snapchat is guysapparelau. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The subscribe button it is. And make sure to come check out Fly Kicks. It's pretty lit. And click here if you want to see another video. I'll put another video right here for you guys to have a look at. Don't forget to thumbs up. I'll speak to you guys soon. Peace. Peace out.